Oh, and here we are. Early in the morning down at the station. Gonna make my way to Rugby today. And uh, yeah, wanna see some faster trains and I also wanna see some abandoned railways. So, oh, oh, double action. What's that? 66546. Not bad, how was that for a start? So I'm going to wait for my train, which says it is 07.37. Uh, so I've got 17 minutes to wait. So in that time, we'll watch a couple of trains here and then we'll make our way over to Rugby. All oh, right, should be a good one. Let's go for it. And here it is. Our train to Rugby. And it is going through to Birmingham New Street. I only want to go two stops down. So, uh, 350235. Lovely. Oh. Welcome aboard this London Northwestern Railway service. Here we are then. Party time. Well, here we are, bright and early in the morning. And uh, yeah, it's quite a magnificent station actually. Lots of Victorian red brick everywhere. I did see at the top when we came in, there was a 57. So I just want to pop up and see that before I go and get myself a bit of breakfast and start my day. Look, I am going to do a bit of train spotting, but me being me, I've got to work first before I can start having fun. And by work, I mean hunt down our abandoned railways. Right, well, here we are, folks. This is where the Grand Central Viaduct went over the uh, West Coast Main Line. I think it's West Coast. Uh, London and North Western Railway. And, of course, there's nothing much of it left now. You've got these walls, and there's another couple that are there. So, big shout-out once again to disused railways and stations around Northamptonshire Facebook group. You all came back through with some beautiful... So, this is the wall thank you James sorry for this and you can see the other parts of the wall in the background as well so this would have been a almighty viaduct up here uh, you can just see the other pillars of the viaduct and of course that would go straight over the railway across this one and on top of this bank here I suppose it is a little bit too dark but I love these mornings so this great central railway has been turned into a footpath north and south it's just you've got to go past the railway station to head north so here we go look at that rugby borough council great central walk the great central nature reserve oh it's bylaws and uh, the rotary club embarked on a project to upgrade the northern section of the Great Central Railway between Hillmorton Road and Abbey Street in 2018. The work is being undertaken by the Rotary Club of Rugby together with other volunteers in conjunction with the Rugby Borough Council and the Warwickshire Wildlife Trust and in accordance with an agreed management plan. The aim of the project is to improve the landscape, eco ecology and recreational value of this part of the Great Central Way echoing the improvements the Wildlife Trust local volunteers have achieved south of Hillmorton Road. But yeah, I'll let you read the rest of that. But me, I'm going on an adventure. The Great Central Railway has been turned into a heritage line and I have been there and it's the Great Central Railway up in Loughborough and I loved it. I got to walk around the engine sheds and the smell of steam is just oh well yeah so yeah this is the same railway line anyway let's go see if we can find some relics hidden amongst the, the hedges or even old bridges that are just looking pretty epic definitely need your muddy boots i got mine
Ooh, coming across our first infrastructure. A railway bridge and an epic wall. Very nice. Awesome. I do believe it was double line as well. Oh look, we've still got some trap bed down. Oh look! Oh, awesome! Oh look! Brilliant! There we go! First relic! Oh brilliant, just as you first get here. Oh and you've, you've even got the brickwork in between the metal. Oh I love that. First relic. I like it when people use a little bit of thought just to remind people of what actually was here once upon a time. Nothing says it more than actual track laid down, is there? <laughs> oh, right. It looks like we've got another bridge coming up as well. That's cool, isn't it? Uh, Clifton Road. Oh, wow, look at the pathway. And that's stunning. Look! Bridges. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. And it's the same stuff again, where you've got metalwork and brick in between. But again, more rails on oh, Hot Wheels. Look at that, awesome. That's pretty epic. Beautiful and frosty. What a morning. Oh, got a bit of concrete just here. Hmm, might have been to do with the railways. Who knows? Seems like we've got a wildlife trust volunteer here. And he's tidying up all the back, because of course we would have had, they would have had the tornado rip through here as well, I suppose. And he's actually done a little bit of hedge laying. It's absolutely awesome. Cool. Oh look. Oh some more relics. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I'm just I had a chat with this gentleman and he says he's just been taking down the um, the very large elder that have just grown rampant and what he's done instead of burning it or taking away the green waste he's effectively made bug hotels just by laying down this lot so you put some stakes in the ground and then back up all your green waste look and the bugs will love it what a good idea Uh, you remember what I said about gullies by the side of the railways? Don't put your foot in them because you will go down to your knee. Oh, he's put a sign up. A tree felling in progress. Yeah, he's doing it properly. Good lad. Right, <gasps> another bridge. I think it was three bridges and then you get the station. So a big shout out to Sally Russell for this one because once again you've come through for me again, darling. I love that. That's pretty epic, isn't it? Awesome. 
All right, let's keep going then. Oh, may even be four bridges. There's little pathways that go along the top into the housing estate. So you never would actually think we're right in the middle of town centre here. Concrete to the right of me, concrete to the left. But here I am, stuck in a nature reserve. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, too much coffee. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> ah, what have we got here? Is this it? <gasps> um, train station, measured mile trail. Okay. Hillmorton Road. Oh, wow. So, is this the platform? I think it is. Look at that. And would this actually be? Is this it? <gasps> it is. It's the platform. Look at that. My dear boy, I think we've got it. We just, uh, Come down here. Yeah, it certainly is. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty epic, isn't it? The station was opened on 15th of March, 1899. It had services between London Marlebone and Manchester Piccadilly via Leicester Central, Nottingham Victoria and Sheffield Victoria as well as various cross-country services to places such as Southampton and Hull. The station was run by the Great Central Railway from 1899 until it was grouped into the London and North Eastern Railway in 1923. It came under new management of British Railways in 1948. Rugby Central was roughly midway along the Great Central Main Line, GCML, and was a stopping point for express services, as well as a changeover point for local services. Until the early 1960s, the station was served by about six London Manchester expresses daily, and was terminus for local services from Aylesbury or Woodford House to South and Leicester Central and Nottingham Victoria from the north. The line was downgraded with express services being removed, leaving only local services and infrequent semi-fast service to London. Most of the GCML was closed on the 5th of September 1966, following the recommendations of reshaping of British Railways report by Dr Beeching. On that day, the line south of Rugby Central and north of Nottingham, Victoria was closed until the 3rd of May 1969. The section between Rugby Central and Nottingham, initially Nottingham, Victoria, later cut back the Nottingham Arkwright, remained open as self-contained breach. Providing DMU operated local passenger services, the station formally closed on the 5th of May 1969. So it had rails down here to stop at the station, did it? And then another pair of rails over there? Or has that side been filled in? Has that side been filled in? Yeah, I think it has. Oh wow, I wonder what it would have looked like before. Oh no, I see an archway, you've got to walk through it, haven't you? Um, hello? Wow. So maybe this was the entrance to come down onto the station. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because the platform edge is still here, look. turned into a lake. <laughs> Look at that, I'm actually on a platform and trains this side and trains that side. Wow. James Sorry, Sally Russell, you absolute legends. What a morning for it as well. 
Oh, hello, young one. I ain't gonna harm you. How are you? Say hello. <laughs> Miserable little gear. This would be the end of the platform, I guess. Oh, I love the way that is. Rails it in amongst all the undergrowth. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure there was a couple of um, engine sheds and bits. So maybe that concrete base there is what it was for. What's this say? In celebration. Oh, right. Okay, we read that, didn't we? Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, and you look behind and you've got this bug hotel surrounded a whole little swamp. Oh, it's awesome. Now, I'm not really too sure what is going on further down, but there is a lot more here in rugby for me to see, as well as try and fit in a couple of hours train spotting. So I think I'm going to make my way back into town and we'll see what other abandoned railways we can kind of walk. Oh, look. Welcome to the Great Central Way. This site is maintained by Warwickshire Wildlife Trust and Volunteers. Please enjoy the site responsibly and take your little home with you or place in one of the bins provided. Yes, absolutely. 24 hour CCTV recording is in operation at this station for the purpose of security and safety management. Yeah. I suppose, yeah, he's going to go down that little bit up there. I suppose this is perfect timing. And that little bit of track that engine is going down is actually the rugby to Stamford line, where halfway is uh, Market Harbour. Yeah, look at that. So if you wanted to get to Market Harbour in Peterborough, that is the line that you would go on. That's pretty epic showing that one. Uh, right, now the next one on me mark, I mean there's the rugby station, as grand as it is, and the next one on the list is actually on top of the multi-storey car park, and I was told if I come up here, I can get a good vantage point of the Collis Rail Yard, it was a bit of a testing locomotive place, I'm not sure. 
down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it, just there. One of the old sheds still in use. That's awesome. And you can see a lot, I mean, that's bright. That is well bright. But looking all the way around, that's a, go away. Oh, bloody hell. Look at that. Is that a power station? Or is that smelters? That looks like smelting. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What's on the other corner? Oh, look, network rail. Whee! But yeah, this whole area was once a big locomotive department. Um, is it British Electrics or something? Let me know, guys. I'm going to make loads of mistakes in this, but I'll tell you what, if you leave a real good comment, I'll, I'll make sure it's pinned to the top for everyone to see. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. What a view. Hmm. Good to see some trains from up here, I suppose, wouldn't it? Hmm. Oh, speak of the devil. There you go. There's another one off the list. Um, right, now the other one is working out that way somewhere. And there's another railway, that's the Leicester to Rugby line. And uh, yeah, there's supposed to be another viaduct down that way. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Looks like we got double action. Oh, wow. I've walked all the way around from the train station and walked round onto this bridge. I'll show you on the map a minute. And uh, it looks pretty interesting as you go over the whole length of the railway. And it is on the way to finding this viaduct. So, <laughs> I thought it'd make good filming. I might as well film this too. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh, wow. Oh, here comes the twain. Awesome. It's a shame they put all this mesh up here, I suppose. It stops people wanting to do silly things to themselves and cheat. Yeah. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven main lines, and then there's one, two, three for the sidings. And the where I want to go is there was another railway that branched off. I think it's that little one with the little buffer on the end. You can just see behind this little warehouse with the big shutter, there's a row of trees that go off. Looks very awesome to me. The Rugby to Leicester line. Good. But I have noticed where I said that tree line is, there's a pathway that runs all the way along. Yes, another dismantled railway walk. And you see that path, it goes all the way along. Nice. 
still very frosty all down there but I'm warm as anything just gotta keep walking keep stomping keep marching Look at the height of the bank. Oh, look. So this would have been a bridge once upon a time. A first relic for this railway. That's pretty cool, isn't it? What's on the other side? cafe right okay well, there you go that's the bank so I want to go at the top but there is a path round I'll stick to the path and be civilized for once beautiful yes. Oh look, pathway. Um, yeah, go for it. Go for it, be a boss. Glad the ground's frozen. Oh. Oh, look at that. Now we're on the railway. Proper. Love it. Ah, here it is. A viaduct. And it don't look like much from up here. I mean, it really, really don't look like much from up here. But it should be many arches and look, sh should look actually pretty cool from down below. Can I get down there? Can I? Is that going to kill me? Probably. Can we? Is there a little bit of a pathway? Oh. Mm. I don't know, but that'll do, won't it? I, I don't really want to go down there. Not really. I won't get back up again. Well, I will. But it's not worth it. But there you go. Hmm. Peace, but. Right. Uh, what's it like? Oh. Oh, I don't know. Is that just wasteland? What is this? Can you see? Oh. Trains in the back, lovely. And then the steel works. I think it's steel works. I'm not sure, but it's massive. Hmm, what you got down here? Ah, the water, which makes it a viaduct. Course, course. Mental. I want to know what it's like from down there. So what I might do is I might actually send up the drone for the final time right here. I mean, I don't want to go too far there. You've got main road, but just here looks pleasant enough for me to send the drone up. See if we can have a look at this viaduct from a different angle. And then I want to go up and I want to see if I can see that steel works or whatever that is, because that looks immense. So, um, yeah, 
Hmm, haha. <laughs> I'll send her up and I'll see you after. like it so I suppose whilst I make my way back to the station you don't need to see any of that bit so I might as well end this here so if you like the video hit that like and subscribe button for me and then don't forget to check out the other train spotting video that I'll probably put this one up soon at some point when I can and then don't forget to check out normal purple vision as well and we'll see you all again in the future so Thank you, Michael Lawrence, for the recommendation of the station. You're an absolute legend. Of course, Michael Lawrence is over in Market Harbour. And yeah, so you're finding the disused railways. This one led straight to it. So, nice one. But with all that in mind, peace, love and light. A whole heap of unity. See you again soon.